choosing the right CAT tool for translating particular format of file may be the key to a successful translation or quite the opposite to failure in translating properly and with a desired format. A file that it is heavy layouted, it is better to not be translated with Trados Word but with Tag Editor or with other tools that won't use Word. For this particular case of Word file that uh, were originally PDF or other graphic format, translating with a CAT tool may be problematic to impossible because lots of tags will be inserted in an otherwise plain text or that looks like plain and simple. So you will end having hundreds of tags like this that make a translation almost impossible to translate and you cannot ignore the tags in the target. So the best tool for translating a doc word document may be a CAT tool, Trados with Word, may be Tag Editor or any other CAT tool, but you need to be careful on the actual format of the file before you start the translation. In short, Word doc files can be translated with most of the CAT tools and in addition with Trados version 7 or 2007. Speaking of PDF, there are at least two softwares that claim they are able to translate PDF files and one of them is Studio, the other one is MemoQ and that is possible but with two conditions. One is that must be a generated PDF, so not a scan. And the other one is that in 90% of the cases you will lose any formatting of the original PDF file. So in Studio you may have a nice looking file as this one that comes from a PDF, but the target that you will have can only be used as plain text and not as a formatted document with pictures and different fonts and sizes in most of the cases. And with Studio, both 2009 and 2011 and 2014, with Across, with Transit, with MemoQ, and basically all the modern CAT tools are able to translate uh, Excel files and PowerPoint files. An interesting case is for the files of FrameMaker and InDesign. On FrameMaker, most of the CAT tools cannot translate files with the extension FM FrameMaker, so then they have to be converted to various versions of FrameMaker with the extension MIF, uh, depending on the CAT tool used and the release of the tool on the market. So FM files need to be converted to IMF even for the most recent versions for being translated with Studio because otherwise Studio would consider FM extension as being not translatable. The same happens with InDesign where Tag Editor can only read INX files and Studio can read INX files, MemoQ can read both INX and IDML. But those are still issues of compatibility. So in many cases you need to ask client or the project manager to create a file that is compatible with the required tool for translation. A very interesting tool for translating very particular uh, type of file is Pasolo that was creating for translation of executable Excel files or ENI or DAT or for interface 
of uh, some programs. You need to create a project and then you will have the equivalent of the menus or of the messages for basically a software program. And most of them can be translated with Pasolo, which for translators uh, has also, uh, especially in the older versions, 2011 and 2009, has a version free for translators. To summarize, with Trados uh, version 7 and 2007, you can only translate doc and docx documents. PowerPoint files and Excel files can be translated with Tag Editor and with the more modern CAT tools, but by using a CAT tool, you will not get a file with source on one column and target on the other column because any CAT tool will replace the original file with its translation.